Cooper after police shot and killed a man over the weekend in Charlotte. That shooting happened Saturday morning on Catherine Simmons Avenue, where CMPD says police were responding to a call of shots fired in the area. The family of the person killed, Sanrico McGill, tells WBTV that McGill had a mental illness and received help for his illness multiple times from CMPD. But this time was different. That's right. Moments before the shooting, police say McGill raised a gun, pointing it at another man while officers attempted to de-escalate the situation. Our Erica Lunsford joins us live from CMPD headquarters. Erica, you've been working today to find some answers. Yeah, one of the big questions we had today was if a mental health professional or a crisis team responded to the initial call to 911. San Rico McGill's family says Charlotte Mecklenburg police knew him and his condition, and clearly this is not how they helped in the past. San Rico, was a, he was a very nice person, sweet as he could be. But, you know, he was sick. The family of San Rico McGill opening up after CMPD officers shot and killed him Saturday. His aunt, Mary Hagans, says CMPD officers knew McGill and knew he dealt with mental illness. Because they've been coming out, picking him up from the times they've been staying there, and they ain't had no problem with him, shooting him or nothing of that. Hagan says she thinks the incident was not handled properly on Saturday and believes it was because the officers who did respond were not familiar with McGill or other people who may have a mental illness. And not the same people that come and get him. He know the officers. They weren't the same people come get, and they started from right here. The shooting started from right there. I reached out to the Mecklenburg County's crisis intervention team, the Charlotte Mecklenburg Police Department's crisis response team, and the North Carolina State Bureau of Investigation, asking several questions, including did mental health professionals or crisis team respond? And how many times has CMPD responded to his home address? As of Monday evening, the only response we received is from the county's CIT program, saying in part, Mecklenburg County's public health CIT training program program does not respond to specific incidents. The investigation is now being handled by the State Bureau of Investigation, but of course we will be digging for more answers in this case. Reporting in Charlotte, Erica Lunsford, WBTV on your side. All right, Erica, thank you so much. Coming up next, 